Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is actually my first YouTube video that I'm filming. Hey everyone, so I just got back from a vacation and I had something very exciting waiting for me when I arrived and it is this YouTube Creator Award. If you have watched my video where I unboxed my Birkin or if you just look at the subscriber count below <laughs> this video, I reached 100,000 subscribers last month and it was truly shocking this just entire journey at this point it's april 2022 i have been on youtube for two and a half years i still can't believe that i reached this milestone late last year i was very fortunate that i was able to quit my nine to five corporate law job and focus on being a full-time stay-at-home mom to my three beautiful boys and i still do youtube i'm kind of slowly dialing it back. I took a bit of a break while I was on vacation. And then when I got back home, I, I don't know if you can still tell, but I immediately got sick. And so I was just out of commission for a while, but I'm back here and I wanted to finally share with you my award <laughs> that I got from YouTube. So people refer to it as the YouTube play button, but the official name is the YouTube creator award. And the first one you are eligible to receive when you reach a hundred thousand subscribers is the silver play button, but this is the box. And if you follow me on Instagram, which by the way, follow me on Instagram, it's also at a heated mess. Anytime there is a sale or a deal or something fun, I will post on there. I have polls and it's a lot more interactive. I'm gonna unbox this and then I'll talk about my YouTube journey because I know a lot of you wanna see this, but the way it works is once you reach that milestone of hitting the 100,000 subscribers, you're eligible for the creator award and you have to apply for it. Your channel has to be in good standing. You can have, you know, certain number of strikes or copyright claims. You have to have original content. Now, I'm not sure of the exact timeline, but I'm pretty sure either the day I reached 100,000 or maybe the next day or even a couple days later, I applied for the creator award and it said I wasn't eligible. So it has, it takes time for YouTube to catch up to your number of subscribers, whatever. So I checked again later that week and I was eligible and I applied. The approval came pretty quick, like it was a day or so. Once you're approved, you have to, you know, put your information, your mailing address, then you have to put exactly what you want on the award. <laughs> for the most part, people will put their channel name but I did something a little different and I will show you here. And that's why I mentioned my Instagram because I had polls in my Instagram about what you guys think I should have inscribed on the award. Let me show you the award and then I'll show you what I ended up choosing, obviously. So it comes in this box and it was so exciting to just see the box right there on my doorstep. And I did have it shipped to me directly. I, have, I do have a shipping box for some other stuff, but. So when you open it, so this is what's inside. You have this little foam protective thing. And then there is a letter and I'm going to show you the letter first. <laughs> so here's a letter. You can pause that if you want, but it says, do you remember your first subscriber, your 100th or your 1000th? And I certainly do. Chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000th subscriber. And then it goes on to thank you congratulations on reaching 100,000 subscribers the silver creator award and it's signed by susan woji i'm gonna butcher her name but susan she's the ceo of youtube awesome letter and then there's a little card about who has inspected and i guess they have a vendor that makes these awards here is the award so let me pull this out it's still in the plastic ah i'm so excited <laughs> So there is the silver play button. So it says presented to Cindy at, like with the at sign, a heated mess for passing 100,000 subscribers. And then there's the YouTube logo. And so this part is like a brushed nickel finish. Oh, there's a reflection in the camera. <laughs> and then it is a reflective play button itself. And then the arrow, like the play that you push, that part is the same kind of brushed silver. <gasps> oh, it's so exciting. I can't believe that I reached 100,000 subscribers. Now, like I said, I started my channel about two and a half years ago. My official first video was posted late August of 2019. It's still up. <laughs> I included the intro to it at the beginning of this video. I was very nervous and I don't know, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just continued to push it out. And if you watched any of my other YouTube Q&A videos, 
I kind of talked about this. What kind of inspired me to start YouTube was truly, I just wanted to have some sort of additional revenue. I was already on Instagram creating kind of beauty influencer type content, pictures, reviews for makeup and skincare, you know, and beauty related. I was getting tons of PR, beauty products to review, to post, to try out and it was great. There's only so much makeup, there's only so much face creams and cleansers that I can try. I was giving a ton of stuff away and I was like, okay, I need to really monetize this. If I was gonna spend my time doing this as my side hustle, I needed to generate an income. And it is possible to do an Instagram, but I really knew YouTube was like where the money's at. And even now everything changes so fast. I'm just now kind of dipping my toe into TikTok because that is just flying. I mean, it's that is a way to grow here in 2022. Short form videos are all the rage and that's really where things are trending and kind of going viral. In 2019, I was like, okay, I really need to move, not move from Instagram to YouTube, but at least start a YouTube channel. And I knew that when I started my YouTube channel, it wasn't going to be beauty and skincare focused. It was going to be about my kind of original love of luxury handbags. So I started by posting my first video and it was about shopping at one of the premier luxury outlets here in the United States. I was shopping at the Woodbury Common Premium Outlets and I had kind of a mini vlog, you know, shopping vlog footage and then my haul. And that video still, it's, it's still getting views. And so I guess people are still interested in that. And I offered kind of shopping advice too. So I posted that video and it got okay views and I kind of started already getting subscribers just to kind of go through my YouTube growth quickly. So I did within the first three months, I got my first thousand subscribers and I had reached already the 4,000 watch hours. And those are the two main requirements to getting monetized, which is approved to receive AdSense and ad revenue and you know income from YouTube. So that happened within the first three months and I was monetized within the first three months, which was great. So that was still at the end of 2019. Probably the biggest change or the biggest growth for my channel was the following year. I was still continuing to just kind of do a lot of reviews. I was doing my best to post two to three times a week because I still wanted to grow. I don't know if my goal ever was to reach 100,000. I remember when I started thinking, wow, like I will never reach 100,000, that's crazy. <laughs> like That's almost impossible, it just seemed impossible. But I just continued and then the major turning point was the following summer, July, 2020. I posted my first video where I revealed that I used to work for Louis Vuitton, you know, as a former Louis Vuitton employee. So up until then, and even now, I'm very private you know, just for security reasons. I don't talk about where I work officially, my husband, you know, stuff like that, my family, I try to keep very close guarded. But I did reveal finally that I used to work for LV. And so I revealed that information because in that video in July, 2020, I reviewed critically a book that was published called The Beginner's Guide to Louis Vuitton or something like that. And I was really looking forward to the book just on a personal level. I bought it myself. It wasn't a sponsored video, obviously and I reviewed it, but from the lens of a former LV employee, I just found so many glaring errors. I was really rooting for her. It was a female author, but there were just so many errors that I could not overlook from a customer standpoint and as also as a former LV employee. That video just went viral and it was crazy because that had never happened to me. That video now has about 105,000 views and it still gets views. The book no longer is published, <laughs> unfortunately, but that was the first time I re revealed that I worked for LV. And since then I published more videos kind of sharing that information. And then I quickly just had back to back to back viral videos. And then about a month later, I published my LV employee or you know former LV employee reveals what happens when counterfeits are brought into the store or when clients bring in counterfeit bags. And that video right now has about 1.1 million views and it's my most controversial. It's my most hated. <laughs> I get a lot of comments on both sides arguing for supporting my views and also people who are just very hurt about the situations that I described in the video. And so that really helped me to grow quickly. So I think with that, I reached about maybe 50 and then 75,000 subscribers later that year. Going back even a couple years ago, I started doing advent calendar 
videos, reviews. The most popular ones were, you know, the Chanel advent calendar video that went viral on TikTok. <laughs> My Chanel essay knew that I wanted it. And this was like back in July. It was the first Chanel advent calendar. He knew that I wanted it. He put it aside for me. I drove to the boutique that day. That morning they opened up, bought it, left right away. <laughs> Went home, reviewed it, edited that day and posted it that afternoon, that evening. And it immediately shot to the top and it really just was very popular. So those were the videos that went viral. If I'm giving advice, I guess, that this, I guess I'm giving advice, although it was really a reveal of my creator award. I would say that most YouTubers, if you're starting a YouTube channel, don't worry about going viral. And really you shouldn't want to go viral, especially initially, because I'm glad that I didn't go viral right away. That's great that you have tons of views, but if you don't have other videos, other content on your channel, they're not really going to stay. You know, they're not gonna subscribe. They're just there for that one popular video to see what all the fuss is about. And then they're pretty much gonna leave. So you really need to build a foundation of lots of options, lots of videos that a potential viewer might find interesting. A viral video may have brought them to your channel, but what should get them to stay is everything else on your channel. All your other videos, all the other information, all the value you provide whether it's information, whether it's just your personality. So I would say focus more on creating something that a viewer would want to watch and want to return. But yeah, that's my advice. I don't know how this turned into a YouTube advice video <laughs> because I just wanted to show you my award. And that is this right here, my silver creator award, my silver play button. And I really wanna thank you guys for helping me to pick my inscription because initially I was going to do a heated mess and that's kind of an issue when you start a YouTube channel. A lot of the really popular YouTubers have just their name. And I didn't do that because even when I started, I wanted to be very private. So I chose a heated mess. That's just a line from my favorite movie, Pitch Perfect 2. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I'm kind of debating whether I should change it. I don't know. So I did want to have that name that people know me as a heated mess but also my real name on there which is cindy which is what people know me as and i have one more thing to show you guys and this is something that was just so thoughtful and kind of surprising i guess i don't know like i said i don't really talk much about my family and my husband i keep our lives for the most part very private in another video i mentioned somebody asked who was my biggest supporter was it my husband or you know, my mom, my parents. And I said my parents because they are just huge fans. They literally play my videos nonstop just to have it going in the background. And my husband, you know, it's one of those complicated things. It started off as he just didn't really understand YouTube, I think. He's older than me. He's from a different generation. His whole thing is social media is, you know, he, he's over it. He's, he's from the anti-social media crowd, which I totally agree with. He really wasn't like 100% on board with my YouTube channel, mostly because he really didn't understand the value it brought. And all he saw generally was the time it took because for a long time I was really grinding and staying up at night because again, I was working full time and we have three kids. So during the day, my time is devoted to work and then to the family and I could only work on my YouTube at night and way into the early morning hours. It was not a sustainable <laughs> schedule for me. And so he just was like, okay, it's gotta be a better way. But once I started bringing in a decent revenue income, he was like, oh, okay, I, can't, I get it. I get it now. Okay, I support this. <laughs> it's not like he was not supportive of it. Even when he didn't quite understand, he supported me in that he would, you know, take the kids to the gym or he would take the kids to the park so I could work on a video. And he did give me that time when I was really in a bind or if there was like a deadline or something. All that aside, he is very supportive, especially now that I've, I'm technically a full-time stay-at-home mom. And so now I'm doing YouTube on the side, but without my nine to five. <laughs> so it's an easier balance. But anyway, he got me something to celebrate my milestone also, because I told him how YouTube has this award and I was so excited. So here is the box and it is so heavy. And he was like, he's like, I got you something to celebrate your milestone and this is gonna blow your YouTube award out of the water. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, what is it? And he got me this kind of a trophy. I don't know, it's one of those, oh dude, it is, this is heavy. It is this, his own <laughs> award. And it's the same thing, Cindy at a heated mess, 100,000 subscribers, March, 2022. 
And this is something that he gets similar types of awards in his industry. And he was like, okay, well, I'm gonna celebrate you and it's gonna be better than your official YouTube award. So this is it. <laughs> so this is my YouTube 100K subscriber award. And then my very thoughtful award from my husband. It just means a lot to me. This, this really just means a lot to me because it really shows that he is finally understanding and he saw how hard I toiled, how much time it took, and he wanted to just kind of show me something for it. Thank you so much to my hubby and to YouTube. And thank you guys so much. And without this turning into something cheesy, I just really truly want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I don't know how I got here. I can't believe I am at 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I just, like I said, I get on here, I talk about bags, I talk about makeup, I talk about perfume and I'm so thankful for you guys. I appreciate all your comments. I read all your comments. I read all your messages. I can't thank you enough how much of a difference this has made in my life. Because of YouTube, I was able to quit my job, this very taxing legal job that I took time away from my family. And now I'm here, I'm at home. I can be with my children and I still have YouTube and I have you guys. I do have a giveaway to thank you guys and celebrate 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. By the way, I have a brand new jewelry organizer from Container Store, but the giveaway is from Second Life Jewels. They are a small business based out of Canada. Canada, and I just love what they do. So what they do is take vintage luxury items and repurpose, recycle, upcycle them into jewelry. And I really like these Prada necklaces. They have a Chanel necklace right here. The necklace that I wore in today's video is this dainty little Chanel charm kind of a pendant right there. Um, they also have some earrings. These are really cool LV stud earrings that I have up here. And they have new drops every other Friday, so be sure to follow them and check them out because they sell out really fast. But they have very graciously offered to host this giveaway of a piece of jewelry valued up to $250. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, it's at Heated Mess, and follow them on Instagram, it's at Second Life Jewels. And then comment below the first video that brought you to my channel because I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious what kind of brought you here. Was it my LV videos? Was it my advent calendar videos? Just let me know in the comments and then also add your Instagram handle. So uh, good luck to everyone who enters and thank you so much Second Life Jewels for hosting this giveaway. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my YouTube 100,000 Creator Award trophy unboxing. Truly, thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.